Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be talking about the top five certifications to boost your Salesforce career um, and a few other things that'll help you. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing that is going to make all of this worth it for you to do get these certifications is going to be to go onto LinkedIn and actually make a profile on LinkedIn and have it be updated. Um, personally, I have never actually applied to a Salesforce job before. Everyone that I have come across to it and gotten a job with on the Salesforce ecosystem has been by um, recruiters just reaching out to me and seeing if I'm interested in interviewing. The way that they saw that I was a Salesforce professional was by seeing the Salesforce certifications on my LinkedIn profile and searching for people who have those Salesforce certifications for the features that they are looking to use for. So with that in mind, that has strongly dictated what is on this list of certifications that you should get to boost your Salesforce career because that's how you're gonna get more jobs is usually through LinkedIn. Um, that's how I've gotten all my jobs. And that's how um, most of the other Salesforce professionals I know have gotten their jobs, unless they're working specifically with a recruiter that they met through LinkedIn. That is my little background spiel. Let's jump into the first one. First one is going to be the admin certification. This, in my opinion, is the best one to get to at least start your Salesforce admin or your Salesforce or career in general. Once you have that admin certification specifically on your LinkedIn, then people can search for you and see, hey, this person is certified by Salesforce that they know what they're talking about. So we could go ahead and interview them, see if we like them. It establishes a level of trust that you know the basics of Salesforce. So that is the number one thing that you can do is get the admin certification. All right, number two is going to be the advanced admin certification. Oftentimes, this is another one that is searched for a lot, and this helps you to when recruiters or when hiring managers are searching for Salesforce professionals, maybe they don't want someone who's super new to Salesforce. They oftentimes will want someone who is a little bit more advanced. Now, they're not going to be going to looking for the app builder certification. Usually, they're going to be looking for an advanced administrator of Salesforce. I know that it it's just how the syntax of the certification is and how people search for it is why it's really going to boost your career to have that certification. All right, and number three is going to be Dev2. Um, I did skip over Dev1, which is a prerequisite to Dev2. However, Developer1 is kind of a basics of how do you develop on Salesforce, what specific things are, and Developer2 is like you're actually a developer on the Salesforce platform. Um, there's a lot more that goes into developer two than goes into developer one. When you have developer two, that's when people are searching for and looking for someone who has developer experience on the Salesforce platform. So that is why that is the number three certification that you can get. Technically, it is two certifications that you'll need to get to have the biggest impact on your career. Okay, and now these last two are going to be a little bit um, more geared to a consultant role if you are looking to be more specialized. Oftentimes having a specific specialty within Salesforce will help you to have um, a higher salary. It will help you to further your career faster, all those different things. And I'm not talking about necessarily having a sales or a service cloud consultant certification, those are great, but I still qualify those as a general Salesforce certification because it's a little, it's not as specific as these other two. Let's jump into it. The next certification is going to be the Experiences Cloud Consultant Certification. So Experiences used to be called Communities. This is where you are setting up an external website or some type of site for um, users to come in and get information about a specific product. Um, oftentimes this could be like a government website or a government portal for users, for residents, whomever to come in and connect with the government officials or pay a bill possibly or submit a complaint. Um, I personally live in an HOA or a homeowners association, so I'm able to log into my HOA and submit complaints if or submit payments to the HOA. Um, ask questions about like when the pool's open during the summertime. That is an example of a site experiences. So, and it connects 
to the back end of Salesforce. And so people, the users who are using Salesforce on the company side or the government side are able to use the back end of Salesforce um, to communicate with users on the front side, who is going to be me, who is pay paying the HOA or asking questions on the HOA, that type of thing. Hopefully that example made some sense. All right, now the fifth and final certification to boost your career within Salesforce is a specialty certification and it is going to be CPQ. So this stands for, I believe, configure price quote. So CPQ allows you to have products, um, product bundles, especially if you are a very product heavy business. Um, I like to think of a custom computer building company as this. So you will have the different parts of a computer. You will have your um, display, you will have your graphics card, you will have your motherboard, you'll have your RAM, you'll have all these different parts of your computer. And if you were to use Salesforce to build that computer, you could select the different products and CPQ would help you build that computer and have the different products that are associated with it. So then one, it can be built correctly. Two, you can have specialty discounts. Three, you could create uh, different bundles if there was like a basics or advanced or an all out type of computer, you are able to create those different bundles of products. This helps you to make sure that you're building the right pieces, can take it to uh, production, take it to billing and you can build the customer. That's kind of a basic overview of CPQ. Now you'll be doing this all within Salesforce and it is its own specialty thing and it is an upgrade within Salesforce. However, this is a very um, in-demand certification, in-demand skill. Now this is one of the hardest certifications out there, um, in my opinion, to get within Salesforce. So keep that in mind. You'll need a lot of experience to get this certification. But once you have that certification, people will be knocking on your metaphorical door on LinkedIn and saying, hey, I want to give you a job. <laughs> so those are the top five certifications that I would suggest to boost your Salesforce career. If you have any other certifications that you would suggest, be sure to leave them down below. I tried to pick out some single certifications, but we did get developer one and two, which are kind of a combo. So if you found this helpful, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, check out my courses down below in the description. If you want to join the email list, you can do so at salesforceemily.com and I'll catch you guys in the next one.